everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working outside because we've got a really great, beautiful day for uh, building, and I'm starting to work on the greenhouse. And what I'm going to be doing is working on both greenhouses on both sides simultaneously, and the reason for that is that they are mirror images of each other. They're exactly the same, which is another way of saying that they're mirror images of each other, except that it's incorrect because a mirror image is actually backwards on both sides. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because there's lots of calculations and lots of thinking that's going to go into each greenhouse. Like, for example, right now, I'm laying out where each of the posts is going to go in this wall. There's going to be a wall here that's the height of that. It's going to continue that line across here, and then there's going to be a, ro a roof slope that goes up over there. Uh, and the placement of all the posts here, uh, it's not predetermined. I'm figuring it out right now, getting you know, proper spacing, making sure they're, uh, sure they're not too far apart. It's going to be the same on both sides. Uh, it doesn't have to be the same, but I think it would look nice if they were symmetrical on either side. Uh, and also, it's like I do the thinking once, and then I don't have to do it again. So uh, uh, that's what I've started off doing this morning. You can see I've got this uh, line stretched over here, because I'm not taking for granted that this is a level surface, and it's not. The, uh, this point over here, and I'll point to it, this surface right here is supposed to be the exact same height as this surface right here, but I wanted to double check it with the line. I stretched the line out across. I've, I've got it uh, stuck up on uh, one and a half inch blocks on either side so that there's some uh, uh, you know, float to it, and I found out that uh, it's actually uh, lower over on that side. I had to put spacers uh, in on top of the block on that side in order to get this thing actually level. It's actually three quarters of an inch difference between the two of them. So what that means is uh, when I build my first post, which is going to be right here, I'm going to build this post three quarters of an inch shorter than the post that would be over on this side, uh, you know, to compensate for that, uh, that slope that's in here. Um, in terms of transferring all the information over, I'm obviously not going to transfer that over to the other side because I'm going to have to do a, you know, a double check on the level over there. It could be opposite, it could be perfectly flat, it could be the same. I don't know, I'll find out about that. But in terms of the posts, I marked off where all the posts are going to be, uh, you know, ran a tape measure across it, and just noted it down. Uh, this post here goes from zero to four and a half inches. There's a three quarter inch board that brings you to five and a uh, quarter inches. Then there's going to be another post here that goes from 29 and 3 eighths to 33 and 7 eighths. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm taking all these numbers, I'm transferring them over to the other side. It took me several minutes to do the calculations, figure out this stuff, get everything centered and everything. Uh, whereas over there, all I had to do is copy off of my uh, notes here. So if you're doing your own build and you have anything where the things are the same, it really pays to do them both at the same time. Now, it would give me a lot of satisfaction to see this whole wall up. Uh, and you know, go up really quickly. But given the fact that I can take all my thinking here and transfer it over there, even though each individual wall is going to go a little bit slower because I'm working on both at the same time, collectively the entire project is going to be a lot faster. And that's what I want to share with you guys today. <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching.